Let's take a look at Project Manager and Templates. So on the upper left corner, I'm going to click on Project Manager so I can see what I'm uh, doing and what I'm adding. Um, I have a file group one here, which I can actually rename by right clicking. So I'm going to go ahead and rename it and call it Song 1 and 96K, for example. Now I have got under Project Manager, I've got a file group named Song 1 and 96K. Within that file group, I can add different type of file. So if I'm going to click on File, I'm going to first add an audio file. I can go from a template or I can go from a custom. I'm going to use a custom, a 32-bit uh, stereo, so it could be mono or dual mono, and a 96K, but you can also can go to 192 if you want to. So I'm going to create. Now within, I create an audio file. You can see the icon here. It's an audio file. Within the file group, Song 1 and 96K. Now, if I click on File here, I can actually save this audio file as a template by clicking on Templates, Add Templates, and I'm going to say 96K Stereo File Stereo 32 bit and save it. So now, next time, if I just want a, an audio file, stereo, and a 6K 32-bit float, I can just click on this and it will open it automatically. Now let's just add an audio montage file to this group. I'm just going to go again with a custom. Uh, you can get uh, different options. In this case, I'm going to go multi-channel free configuration. You can go up to eight channels. That's a maximum. So I'm going to go, I'm going to do that. And it's going to be a 96 as well. So now within my file group, I have an audio file and I've got an audio montage. Finally, I go back to File. Again, you can save a template here by easily add templates. I do audio montage, templates, add templates, and you can just add the templates, audio montage templates if you want to. Let's go back to audio processor. In this case, I can just create, uh, go from a template again, or just create empty batch processor. So as you can see on the project manager, I have now song file group, song one a 96K, with an audio file at a defined sample rate, a defined beat rate, uh, and uh, a format, it could be stereo, mono, or dual mono, an audio montage of eight channels, and a batch processor ready to go to convert uh, multiple files at different sample rate if I want to. Finally, if I create another file group, you can actually divide that section in vertically in two different sections here or horizontally this way. So you have different ways you can display uh, the file within the file group. And of course, you can rename each file independently by just, if you right click, Info, you'll be able to name, see the properties or change the audio properties.